What is going on YouTube? It's your boy 88% here and we're here to play uh, our first Pokemon N Nuzlocke in this channel. Uh, this is not a... Uh, I'm not doing a regular Nuzlocke. Um, I'm doing a randomized one. So basically uh, every Pokemon's trainer is randomized. Uh, yeah, any trainer's Pokemon is randomized. Any Pokemon in route are randomized. And we're adding a bit of some twists to it. Uh, we call it, or I'm calling it, the Redone, Pokemon Red Redone Extreme Nuzlocke. Which basically means um, every Mon uh, has his stats randomized. Items are randomized as well throughout the region, but that's normally normal for um, uh, Nuzlocke's randomizers and stuff. Uh, we're also... Um, randomizing their typings and their move sets so basically uh, basically I programmed it so that um, whichever type the Pokemon gets randomized to it will um, it will have its moves according to that type so basically if for example Bulbasaur which is on the screen uh, changes up to a rock type it will be more likely to learn rock type moves and learn rock type TMs and all that stuff and yeah TMs are also randomized and that's basically it honestly for randomization uh, we also increased the the trainer levels by 10% in this game we only increased by 10% in this game I want to do more but uh, I figured that um, since it's first gen, the DXP the uh, that they gave you, it's not that good. And if we increase um, the levels too much, we cannot get to. Uh, we can properly advance through the game uh, with the levels we have, you know? Um, so yeah, I also made the, the rival carry the, the starter that he chooses. I uh, always like to do that, it's kind of fun, in my opinion. Uh, and also, uh, gyms are also randomized, of course, but not with a team type. Uh, uh, I don't know if it's common to do with a team type, but normally I don't do it, because I like to have, uh, I like to have them all uh, vary with types, you know? Uh, so it's a, a more challenging um, battle. You know? So yeah, the rules of a Nuzlocke are... Um, if if you're new to this, the rules of a Nuzlocke are... Uh, if a Pokemon faints, it's considered dead. You have to box it in a PC, uh, in a specific box for that Pokemon, or you can just release it. Uh, it's normally faster to release it, I'm pretty sure, in these first two gens, I'm pretty sure. Um, you can only catch the first small new encounter in each route, but there's also species clause and dupes clause. Um, so basically these two clauses, I don't know, I'm never really sure which one it is, uh, which one is the, the one, uh, the one associated with the, the premise. So basically these two rules make it so if you find, uh, the same Pokemon, uh, or a Pokemon that you already caught in another route, you can uh, you can recount re-encounter uh, to have another Mon. Or uh, if you, for example, you caught a Squirtle in Route One and you end up in Route Four and find a Blastoise, you can also re-encounter that because it's a species clause, I'm pretty sure, or dupes clause. One of those. One of those. So basically, you have the if you find uh, the same evolution line, um, you can always recounter if you already had that mod. So yeah, other than that, oh, uh, we also will be playing battles on set always. Uh, that's always what I've been doing since I was a kid, honestly. And we're not using back items, which is the the most intense part, honestly, because uh, I intend to throw in these games but let's get started shall we
Let's get started with our little adventure through Kanto, a uh, set. Okay, we're good. New game. Oh, hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures called the Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them. F others use them for fights. Myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. First, what is your name? Well, of course, our name. Is there no? There's no numbers, really. Bro, there's no numbers. Oh, I'm fucked. <laughs> I'm fucked. Uh, well, I guess we're doing just percent. Mm. Percent. Hello? Percent. Oh, it actually fit. Right, so your name is percent. Well, we don't have the 88. <laughs> This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. Um, what was his name again? He's John. His name is John. That's right, I remember now. His name is John. Percent. Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures per with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Uh, sorry, it's very early right now. So my voice is kind of rusty, if that even is. Oh, we got a thunderstone. I also randomized this item, and we got a thunderstone. That's very interesting. Very, very interesting. Hopefully, we can get a mon that evolves to a thunderstone. Hey, mom. Right. All boys leaves home someday. It sets all on TV. Professor Rogue next door is looking for you. Thanks. Thanks, mom. Thanks. I already know he's not on the lab. Because, you know, it's Gen 1. Hey, don't. Oh, shit. I missed it. <laughs> it's unsafe. All Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own, for, own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. He just kidnaps us. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. John? Let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, percent. There are three Pokemon here. Haha. -ha. They are inside the Pokeballs. <laughs> when I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. In my old age, I have only three left. But you can have one choose hey gramps what about me be patient john you can have one too all right all right let's see let's see Ooh, i'm very excited to see this let me just uh save before anything else hold on can i not i can't i can't turn the the way i wanted to let me just save before we choose our starter, let's see what we have. We have Metapod. We have Metapod as an option. Hmm. Oh, I also, by the way, uh, so in case this happens, in case Metapod happens, you know, I made every Pokemon start with four moves. So, Pokemon's like Ditto, um, Metapod, basically weak mons, and Magikarp, for example, as well. Uh, basically, all the weak mons have a, a higher um, chance of surviving, basically. So yeah, we have Metapod in first slot. We have Shelter in the second one, huh? Very interesting. And third, last but not least, it's an Executor. Huh. Interesting. Uh... I don't know who to choose, honestly. Executor would be the best choice uh, in terms of being evolved and stuff. Uh, shelter. Mm. 
I'd have to get a, a water stone for. And Metapod loves a level 10, so it's not too bad. But it might be if I don't have any attacking moves. Uh, which one? I think I'm going to go... I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Hmm. It was a level 10, right? So that's basically after the Viridian Forest, kinda. Could be before. Could be before. Um. Fuck it, let's grab Executor. The Coconut Pokemon. Legend has it that on rare occasions, one of its heads will drop off and continue on as an Execute. Oh, that's interesting actually. You want Executor? Yes, this, po this Pokemon is really energetic. Percent received an Executor. You want to give a nickname? Yes, yes I do. I will call you. Uh, melon. <laughs> I'll call you Melon. Actually, uh, there's no genders in this game, so instead of Melon, I'm gonna call you Melanie. Melanie. And he chooses. Oh, he chooses the Metapod! <laughs> See, if I chose Metapod, he would have chosen Shelter then. And if I chose Shelder, you would choose the Executor. Okay, so Shelder was literally never their option. Thankfully, I didn't even think about it. I'll take this one then. John received the Metapod. Now, let's check. Let's check our little Melanie. Stats. It's a fire type. It's very fucking fast. Uh, very frail as well in the defense. Special is kind of decent, I guess. Uh, it seems attack is high, I guess. I don't know if it's really high or not. But he's very fast. Or she's very fast, actually. Uh, but the 24 HP means uh, it's probably very, very frail. It has Fire Blast, Amber Hypnosis, and Flamethrower. Buddy! <laughs> oh buddy, we are ready. We are ready. Come on, I'll take you on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come to... <sighs> Jesus Christ, sorry. It's really early. Come get a taste of this, buddy. Of this... Fire Blast actually landed too. And he got burned! Let's go, this is a very good sign. But see, that did four. That did four. Which means if it was not burned, it would have done eight, which is a lot of fucking damage. It's a third of my HP, a body slam from a metapod. That's very, very worrying. I did get paralyzed though. Oh yes, Confuse Ray 2. Uh, from the moves it's been go using, I'm guessing... Oh, it's Parafusion. Oh, we have Psybeam too. Psybeam shouldn't do too much. Yeah, okay. He's almost dead. Oh, I killed it! Good job, Melanie! 147. Damn, that's a lot. Damn, that's a lot. What? Unbelievable. I picked the wrong Pokemon. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen, up, toughen it up. Percent Gramps, smell you later. Okay, buddy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so so much. Hold on. Am I healed? I am. Alright, let's see what mons we have 
around here. I need to rearrange my moves as well. But we can only do that in uh, we can only do that in battle. Uh, in this game, we can only rearrange our moves in battle. Do 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 do. Oh, this is very fine, honestly. I I was missing some some old school. I don't need to come here. Why did I come here? Uh, some old school Pokemon games. You know, just take it slow. Hey, you came from Pellet Town? You know Professor Rook, right? His order came in. Will you take it to him? I said Garok's parcel. Uh, yeah, so taking it slow, you know, um, a basically a basic um, streamlined game, especially because we've been playing Pokemon Scarlet a lot, uh, especially with the DLC. Uh, coming out this this month so yeah that that like I love Pokemon Scarlet don't get me wrong even though it's very glitchy and sometimes very annoying but you know we miss we miss these oh Beedrill is in this grass cool and we have hypnosis too oh I completely forgot we have hypnosis that's very very good for us not gonna lie. It's very, very good for us. Uh, so yeah, basically, uh, playing uh, playing a Gen 1 game, it's really, really satisfying for us. Uh, for me, at least. Because, you know, it's been way too long since I played these games. And it's finally time. I'm very happy about it. Oh, percent! How is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems it seems to like you a lot. It must be t you must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. <clears throat> Fuck. What? You have something for me? Yes, buddy. This this voice is killing me. This voice is killing me. Ah, this is the custom Pokeball I ordered. Thank you, Gramps. What did you call me for? All right, I have a request of you two. On the desk there is my invention, Pokédex. It automatically records data on Pokémon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Percent and John, take these with you. Percent got the Pokédex. Hell yeah. Give me that. To make a complete guide on all the Pokémon in the world. That was my dream, but I'm too old, I can't do it, so I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving you two, this is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Alright Gramps, leave it all to me, percent I have to say, I hate to say it, but I don't need you. I know, I'll borrow a town map from my sis, I'll tell her not to lend you one, percent, ha ha ha. <laughs> Ha ha ha! So wait, do we have Pokeballs, by the way? Because the the encounters only start once we get Pokeballs. We don't. Do we not get Pokeballs from him? From him? What? He really doesn't, huh? It's very interesting. That's very very interesting. I thought he did give you Pokeballs. Well, I know in the most recent games they do. Give me, give me the town map. Give me the town map, please. Uh, well, I guess we'll have to go to the first um, to Viridian again to see if we can actually get our first encounter. Oh, let's see. There's also Jigglypuff in here. Interesting. We would need a Moonstone for said Jigglypuff. Let me just rearrange my moves, please. Because this is very, very... It's a very, very volatile one. But it's very fast. I just remembered that um, in Gen 1, that's how you get crits. is by being fast. That's how you get... 
secret. Alright, let's see, let's see. Since we're here, since we are here, either uh, may I help you? Yes, I want to buy. Take your time. Give me, oh, hello. <laughs> Give me 10 Pokeballs, please. Yes. Uh, no pushes. Fuck. Uh, definitely going to buy at least two antidotes. Because in this game, your Pokemon might die from poison. And that's not very fun, is it? It's not very fun, is it? So let's get our Route 1 encounter. Which we can confirm it's Route 1 by coming here, right? Yeah, that's Route 1. Radiant City is here. Route 2, I want to like, can I check that one? Yes, Route 22. We can also get an encounter. Let's see though, our first encounter is in Route 1. It's a Jigglypuff. <laughs> I can't be mad though. I cannot be mad. Jigglypuff is a pretty cool mon. Pretty cute too. Hopefully it's decent though. Hopefully it's decent. We've been blessed with hypnosis by the way. We have been blessed with hypnosis. And I'm so so glad of that. Oh? Jigglypuff, please. I know that your being full health doesn't really help us. There we go, thank you. Jigglypuff was caught. So we have another Mon on our team. It's the balloon Pokemon. When its huge eyes light up, it sings a mysteriously soothing melody that lulls its enemies to sleep. Do you want to give a nickname to Jigglypuff? Yes, please. In honor of our uh, other playthrough, I think I'm gonna call you Lanita. La Nita. And, and actually, I think I can I'll always click start. I'm just a dumbass. So let's see, let's check out Carlanita. I was gonna say Carlita. It's water poison! Bruh. That's very, very decent, not gonna lie. Water poison, uh, it seems that it's frail on the defense again, but it's very fast. It has clamp, which is one of the best moves in the game. Uh, because in this gen, if you use uh, trapping moves, it skips the, the opponent's turn. So basically it's an automatic flinch, basically. Hello? Damn! It's raining a lot out here. And we still have Bubble Beam, Waterfall and Tackle. That's very very good honestly, I couldn't ask for more. Water Poison, it's very, it's very good typing as well basically only weak to actually it's weak to kind of some moves um water not water uh ground electric and psychic but it has a lot of resistances though so that's very good well with that though with our first encounter knocked down uh it's time for us to end the first episode we're gonna save and end our first episode so if you've enjoyed it please smash the like button and subscribe I love you all thank you so much for coming I hope you're as excited for this playthrough for the Snuzlocke <laughs> as I am uh, but anyways thank you so much for coming it's been 88% and I'm out